Today's a very special day for the FCR restoration. Glenn is coming down with some parts to paint, and it looks like we have the best day of the week. And a really bad weather never keeps us from painting, it just makes it a lot less fun. It'll be fun today. Every 18 day is fun. Whether we're restoring Glenn's garage, we're removing Luciano's sheds, or just hanging out and having a few good laughs. We had such a great week seeing our friends and seeing our progress on the FCR, and we know spring is on the way. And even though spring is on the way, it's not exactly here yet. As I go out and check the pond, we're still in icicle mode here. And there's still quite a bit of snow in the neighborhood, but it won't stop us from painting today. So this morning as I get down in the shop, we better clear off uh, the work table. Check out, make sure our, all our parts haven't been eaten by a mouse or something. And get ready for Glenn's work. Now, I cleaned off the table. The baby was here yesterday. He, he takes over the table. And I'm only allowed to have half a table now. I'm, I'm relegated to half a table. Anyway, I like to look and see. The parts have really dried up nice. We're ready to... Uh, on the next day we work on our project, we'll be ready to pop the tire and do that repair on the rim. This is going to be quite a job to get that done, but I'm confident that you'll be impressed when you see what I have in mind. I'm impressed already and I didn't even do it. We have painted a lot of wheels and <laughs> believe me, we painted for Glenn we painted a few. So uh, we're, we're confident we're going to be able to make that really, really nice in the end. And while I'm waiting for Glenn to get here, I have a little add-on from previous A-Team uh, days. And he will really enjoy seeing it. Very nostalgic. It'll be at the end of this video. It, it, it represents what we had about five years of. And it brings back a lot of good memories. Be right at the end of the video. So Karen's preparing for the day, as she always does with a, uh, any day when we have guests. We have some kind of cookies in the oven. I can smell them already. Anyway... The parts are cooking. Friends are on their way over. I hope it's going to be a nice day. and We should be able to get some work done for Glenn. Wow, such a nice sunny day. We should be out riding. What am I wasting my time painting motorcycles for? Yeah. Hey, baby. Dave, baby Cortez. Look at this. All right, so what's your, your thoughts here? You want to get rid of the decal. Yeah. You want to bake some kind of stripe here. So we'll do something here. Uh, I guess first thing, take the yeah. windshield off. And and also here... And you want to make that a bar, like my bike has, yes. that matches. Just like this color. Okay. You know, like a blue stripe. Well, we'll replicate blocks. this. The stripe yes. on the outside, blue. Yep. Yep. We could definitely paint the white today, and then I don't know if it's going to dry in time, depending on how this paint's going to play out. Yep. Then I'll have to back mask this and do the, the yep. stripe. So first thing, take the windshield off. Okay. I just Only one part off. you got? Oh, I have the gas Is there a tank fender? outside. Oh, bring it in. Is it got gas in it? No, it's completely empty, but it's got rust in it. Bring it in. Can you see what you're... Oh, that's nothing. Yeah? That's nothing. Oh, my God. That's, okay. That's every... I bet if you went out to your new Ducati... It would, well, you got plastic so, gas tanks, but that amount isn't going to stop So when anything. you take a look at this gas tank, it's gorgeous, right? It's yeah. a beautiful gas tank. Yeah, look at what happened. Look, and then we want to show the... this. Yeah, this is... We want to show why this happens. So we're going to obviously pull this off. Yep. Do get that things work that, that you can get a bond here. I can't tell if that's metal or what. What the hell? That's that's going to be mystery know. meat. I yeah, we're going to find out. Then the trick is going to be you got to back mask the white. Yep. And and we want to get rid grind of this, this down. Take the take the cap off. Right. Um, and then you got to have that. We'll get, get some more of this paint. Did we look in my paint? It isn't here. It might be at my house. Okay. Well. So here I'm helping Glenn and showing him what a genius I am, and I'm doing this and looking over at him and what he's doing, and one of the bolts went into the tank. So good thing we have a magnet. We have the same magnet that I got the bolt out of the sewer with the other day. The thing, whenever there's an open hole, something always winds up going in there. That then's been there since the day I bought the bike. This bike was in an accident, of course. So if if you, it's never leaked there. It's never hurt. Never, never been out of balance even, that it was a problem. But cosmetically, I will get that out. 
I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to do it, but when you see it, it's it's mystery meat. I'm not. I don't want to let the, the, the dent out of the bag here. What do you think the odds are I can get the bolt to come out of this hole if I pound it up and down? <laughs> Zero. We got to get. I, I got that magnet on a stick. I had a bolt go down a sewer the other day, and it the, where the sewer. Oh, no, the, where the uh, the sump pump is. Oh. Flashlight action. You don't have to see it. You, you can do it in the dark. Try to get it to go down in that corner. <laughs> How funny is this? You can't make this shit up. And you gotta do it in real time. None of this stuff with a camera cut. None of this like magic trick like carbonaro effect. You got it? I got rust. <laughs> you got you get all your rust out of the tank while it's in it. <laughs> oh my god. I I thought we were professionals. We're professionals. <laughs> we were. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Oh my we, we got, that sounded pretty good. I got the thing out of the sewer quicker than you're doing that. You got more rust. More rust. Rust never sleeps. No, no, no. Hold on. Oh my god. Maybe we should edit this video out. <laughs> we don't edit anything. There goes my lamp. There goes a broken fluorescent bulb. <laughs> Luciano's by now. He's probably laying on the floor kissing a dog. You get it? Hey! Look at this! It. Oh no, it's. Oh, no, you got it! it. You got it! it. In it's real, just covered in rust. In real time! Would you buy a rusty tank from this guy? <laughs> oh well, my listen, God! I, I put that one back. Drop it down there. The trick isn't to fish around with this. The trick is to put it in and, and make the bolt jump until around. The bolt hits it. But you see, a lot of people, a lot of the simplest thing of all, would when a bolt went down a sewer, they would panic. Yeah. You, know? well, you can't shake the sewer. No, no, no. <laughs> but you got to realize. You can try. When when you're a butcher, you got to know how to cut meat. <laughs> And boy, we're both butchers, that's for sure. <laughs> Keep shaking, it can't hurt anything. And take plenty, whatever you think you need. See how brittle it is in the cold? It's just... Well, it's, it's, it's 28 degrees out here. This is, this is brand new stuff here. This is not even a year old that I bought. So take, yeah, it's this size. Take take some of each that you think you need. The clear shit gets hard right away. It does. You need more parts. All right, so Glenn and I, uh, we got some, the fresh fuel line. The stuff does harden up with age. It's a good idea while you have a bike apart to replace the fuel line, even if there's nothing wrong with it. And of course, the whole idea of what we do is to share useful information. And that thing with the magnet, you laugh all you want. That's, that's a good trick. And it's a Harbor Freight tool you can get for under five bucks. And I can tell you another trick that I did. Glenn, I want to show you this. This is a good trick. They, they make little refrigerator magnets that you can buy. What I did, and I don't have the tool here to show it. I cut this off with a hacksaw, so it's going to epoxy and put in a magnet on each side. So now this is flexible. If I want to go in a tank and go in the back or back, front, the, and because it's a magnet, it, it sucks up all the rust. I love it. It's even better if you let the tank totally dry out, you take compressed air, blow everything out, and you see the shit start coming out. It's amazing. Good. Now what, what we got is we got the thing, the probe with the compressed air. What this is really doing is drying up the rust, any moisture you have on the rust. So you can pull it out with the magnet or with the vacuum cleaner. Oh, yeah. Look what came out. Look what's over there. Wow. Some, some came out. Oh, yeah. So now we got compressed air going into the petcock. You just shake it around. There you go.
Okay, now, Glenn's got the magnet. We've dried the tank with compressed air, used the shop vac, gotten a lot out. I think it's all the rust is pretty dry now, even though I left it, it outside for about three days. It's still... It still had some moisture in it yeah, overnight. Yeah, exactly. Now, when you pull out the magnet, you, if you try to move the magnet all around... Now, I want to show what comes out. Here, put it, wait, put it down here so people can see it. We're trying to do a good demo. Okay, that's what comes out of your tank. Now you could do this do this 15 times and it'll be clean. That this is the part. It just takes, you know. There's a lot of different methods. I know yeah. guys will throw bolts in there and shake Guys them throw bolts, yeah. A little exactly. bit of kerosene or and some guys put put out a caswell in. Caswell tank seal. Just and it just seals the rust, but it doesn't solve the problem is getting it out. Just keep moving it around. And and if you take five, ten minutes now, just this is all the crap that's not going to wind up in a fuel filter. Restoring old bikes. It's bitching. Bitching Hansen. <laughs> i got to be honest. I'm attracted to it. <laughs> you <Yeah>. like rust. <laughs> that was terrible. Drust and drugs. <laughs> bad jokes. Mostly drugs. <laughs> that's where the bad jokes come from. There you go. Let's see. Now, see, I like to do stuff in real time because I hate these guys do camera cut stuff. And then you see, oh, yeah, look at that. I just so I know there's going to be a thousand people that watch this and go, why aren't you 5, doing 000. this? Why aren't you doing that? No, why I don't care. Do I don't answer that stuff. 5,000. But the reality of it is this is going to actually take care of it. It's going to take the, care of the problem. There's 5,000 subscribers and, and 10 are unhappy. Well, it's okay. I don't buy them coffee. That's all there is to it. And if you're not unhappy with windy videos, the, make, a, make your own unhappy? video and send me the link. Who's unhappy? Besides well, listen, you, <laughs> the reality is, if if somebody can do it better, that's we're right. To learn. I, if you can get that out of the tank some other way, I'll be impressed. We're willing now to we're, we're trying to train a mouse to go in there with a little shovel and a magnet, <laughs> but the magnet is a great trick, by the way. This and just keep doing it. It, you're going to be impressed how much stuff comes out of there. Yeah. Now, if you really were cool, I would have told you to do that. I didn't know you were going to have this problem so bad. You go get a can of parts, the uh, brake part cleaner. Yep. Spray it in there because what that does it really dries everything out and you don't get this moisture So you still have some moisture in there But this is a good trick. This is information worth having information worth watching a video for Look at this by the end of the day. We're gonna have to empty the shop back Now look what's coming out at the end of this go ahead push put it down on a paper towel Immigration. Even Steve will be impressed with this Steve, we were running out of coffee, so what happened? He decided to take the rust out of his tank and try to make coffee out He's of it. He's a coffee guy. I'll bet, I'll bet Steve could use this trick. You thirsty? <laughs> Look at what came out of his I tank. I know you're never going to get it all out. <laughs> never going to get That's it all out, but I got to tell you. Gonna we're going to train, we're going to train a hamster to go in there with a shovel and get this but out. But truth be told, I'm scraping the crap out of it. Yeah, he's really getting down to nitty gritty. But that's all this crap would be in the tank if you didn't do this. This is a great standalone video. How to clean a gas tank. You didn't see this, Steve. This is why. Yeah, see the oh. bubble? We got to fix that. Well, we'll, we'll take that That's off. I keep my toll money. Put another bubble over here. And you'll see. Yeah, yeah. I keep my toll money. On it, it's <laughs> actually he was running out of gas on the way home, so he said that's an extra, an extra half a gallon of gas. <laughs> you were. Doing it, it's coming, it's snow and rust. Look at this. It's, it's still coming. Oh, there's more coming out. This is going in. Oh my god. This is going in Wendy's bloopers reel. The bloop <laughs> this is not a blooper. This is the <laughs> this is why I have five thousand subscribers. They like to watch people suffer. Well at yeah, least you yeah. put the right color tape on it. You gotta do that. Okay, this there way you go. I can't find it when I go to look for it. Okay, go baby. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Spark! Boom! Okay, want to do this in real time? The man's gonna commit suicide. Doctor Hanson. <laughs> Doctor Schmidlap. Let's see why that bubbled up. Hey, get your hand away. The people don't know. We don't know why that bubbled up, but let's find out. I'm, I'm thinking there's a junior mint under there. Uh, uh, it's a good guess, but I think it was my lucky quarter. There's one of those decals that say "Paint by Wendy." <laughs> I think it's my Turbo own. Steve probably put one under there. Okay, let's see what's under there. Are you ready? Yeah, come on. 
Oh, it's a piece. It's a piece of Luciano's uh, mortadella. Uh, 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 uh. Now what's this? Bondo. Pick that up. Now cut that up. Let's see what. If he had to paint the whole tank. Bondo. It's Bondo. Yep. Bondo. It's Bondo. JB will. That, that, it's Bondo. That's now, gasoline. here's another thing. Should this we, this goes you. back in the day when Should we were. in the tank. Yeah, yeah. I'll go tell you what to do with it. <laughs> Dig away at that. You got to get it out. But try to make it level to the tank. Because I want to see what. Okay. The, the problem is solved. You know what that, why it's not sickening? This red shit is probably, it's probably that red lead. Somebody painted That's this tank. That's that shit red lead. No, somebody painted this tank red, remember? We got it a could lot be. of it off. Well, you, we don't know what the guy did to before this, whoever had this. Plus, you know this bike's been crashed, so come on. But this is, stop, take your hand away. This is red lead. I can tell by looking at it. Is that what it is? Yeah, look, it, this is not paint. That's red lead. That paint is not that thick. No. Dig away it. Now, we got to etch this okay. and then put real Bondo in there before you do anything. Just dig away at it. You got to put Bondo in that, are you? Well, what are you going to do? You want to put solder? We're going to make a lead sled out of it? No, I, I just said use JB Weld. Use it all the time on the, on the Kawasaki turbos. JB Weld is fine. You can use JB Weld. It's no problem. Use Bondo in it. He's too cheap. He won't, he'll be ready to put Bondo in there. What's the cheapest alternative? <laughs> Is to do it at Wendy's and use his bond, I though. Got a, I got, a, I got yeah. a half a bagel and Gorilla Tape in the car. Maybe I could... <laughs> dig away. You got a lot to dig there, yeah. man. Don't is cut it, yourself on camera, either. Raisins? And you can see, it's all that red lead. That stuff I hate to use. I tell people never use it. Use CA. This is the problem. This is my fault. That's why, yeah. Huh. The new bond, though, the good stuff, that's 40 bucks a, a tube, doesn't do this. So, you're not getting any of that, though. I'm giving you the old crap that I got to use up. <laughs> Labor is cheap. When you when you clog up, because the sandpaper doesn't wear out, you clog it up. Just cut a new piece of that up, Glenn. Yeah. You got to get that whole thing flat. Try not to go into the white stripe if you can. If you if you avoid the white stripe, yeah, but we're not the even, maybe not even going to be able to No, I won't go stripe. that far. Yeah, he's not going anywhere near that. Great to be a professional, huh, Steve? <laughs> this is why whenever I do the Bondo, I try to avoid the Bondo, but if you do it, minimize it and never use that red shit. Oh, that red... I never use Bondo That stuff bites you in the ass years the later. Tank. Somewhere What's going tank, on? There's a pinhole. There's a pinhole somewhere here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have a feeling it's right. I have a feel I see it. It's right here. You might not even see it with that. Well, it no, I'll small. see it. Dr. Oh, Windy is in just there. Just some fumes have to come out. That's all. Yeah. You, you could... Hemorrhoids are a problem at our <laughs> So Steve said fumes have to come out. Trust me. If you it's work right in this here. shop. Yeah, you... now, now look. Steve is Steve is not a stupid person. Oh, there you go. Shit. Right there. Wait a minute. I resent that. Am I? Now, there you go. Take pride in my smile. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here's That's the answer. Here's the answer. I, Thanks, Luciano. No, not the thing is <laughs> you so. Bought, you got, you got. <laughs> no, he got it for free. He didn't pay for you it. You don't gotta uh, worry about it, the body. <laughs> yeah. Now look, look you what I'm doing. Vent. See, there's no point even trying to fix this. This is you're dead. Well, you, you could weld it. Uh, yeah, you could weld it. <laughs> we'll go to your house and weld Wait. it. We're not gonna weld a goddamn thing. Instead of throwing it out. Okay, try, but that's. Try the JB weld before you throw it out. You save yourself a lot of money. Did you, no, okay, no, no, you no, know what? There's more. We you got, got this, this is an accident waiting this to happen. A, this, yeah, we're going to wind up doing this. And Steve, go to eBay and see if you can get a about, tank. Oh, but that, don't worry too much about that because that's not where the hole is. Well, I'm not worried about who this. Who knows what's under this? It hasn't bubbled yet, has it? It didn't get a chance. It was bubbling out of the But see, part. the paint, the paint, the tank is so thin there because here's what happened. The tank had a high spot. Do you understand what happened? It had a mountaintop. Yes. Somebody ground the mountaintop off and made this paper thin is what happened. I'm a surgeon. I notice stuff. All right. Look gonna... at me. I do hemorrhoid work all the time. Come on. This is not rocket science. Okay. The way you can fix this, the only realistic way, if you really want to play this game, you got to dent this in. You got to bang this in. And follow? Roughen it all up. And fill it with JB Weld. Now you, now you got, and then you hold your breath for every time you ride the tank. Is that worth it? Or no. do you want to find the tank? Got to find the tank. Find the tank. It's the end of the, the end of discussion.
Got right. Go on eBay. You're the computer expert. Yeah, Luciano does that. Luciano will find a tank if it's going to oh, have another hole. Does this? <laughs> this is a common bike. There's, there's more of these than there are. Uh, you know. What a shame. Chipmunks it's a beautiful and beautiful paint job on this thing. Uh, you All would right. have to do the paint over. The paint's not a problem. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Somehow so I feel like what I'm you to did. Blame you saved. This. You saved having your ass put a hundred hours into this. You, and and it's a nightmare. Oh. So by by a careful surgery and stuff, we've deduced this is going to be a uh, not worth fixing. Yeah, what a kick in the pants. Okay, but <laughs> hey, we'll get another that, tank. That's we'll all be, part uh, of old restoration. It hey, is. You'll find a tank. Steve will find one before we let him go home. I had. But if that tank would have fit, yeah, you would have been home for you all because yep. that needs to be painted and yep. we could have stripped it down. It's leaking over here, Wayne. No, no, that's oh, from that. Tank. Now, see, we're talking about why do things happen. That's more. If I take my fingernail on that, there's there's stuff underneath. Take was this a pop a bubble? No, this was a track day, a spare track day. But bike. I'm saying, was it a repaint? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Sure, that's not factory paint. Okay. Yeah. No, but that's the whole. That's the whole point. You learn yeah. the hard thing to learn. A bubble like this is always something. Uh, in fact, here, right. Look, underneath. I can see it. Yeah, no, it's rust. rust. That, that's a good lesson to learn. That's why I always say prep everything. Pay the price on prep day. Okay, it, Steve. Let's so Steve was 100% right, and he's going to cut his finger off now. We're going to be nobody, rushing him it, to the hospital. You know, I might as well be home with my wife, because she doesn't believe a damn thing I say either. <laughs> I can tell the sky is blue. She'll say, no, it's not. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so Glenn ducked the bullet here. It's worth watching a whole video just to see how to, uh, when you see a bubble in paint, especially if you think the bike's been repainted. Now everybody's laughing at me, but that's why I spend so much time prepping everything and grinding and sanding. I don't want anything that's old underneath. Now the answer when you have a tank like that is to find a tank on eBay that's dented. Dent doesn't matter, but you don't want to have one that doesn't have factory Hello? paint. Hi. As soon as the yeah, paint's uh, repainted, you don't know what's this, underneath. Uh, this, uh, there's the one. <laughs> okay, there's a, there's a guy selling your tank. In fact, we could sell your tank. Just take a picture from the back. How much are these tanks? 200 bucks. The 200 bucks. Painting? Okay. And this is well, this later. is the actual tank. But to repaint the tanks, it'd be 100 bucks in paint. So what do you Tell me, tell me what it is. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I, I, these are fattening. I'll have to. Come on, yeah. Steve. Look, look. This is this is this is why we love I 18 no? days. How can I say no? We ruined Glenn's motorcycle. <laughs> My computer doesn't work anymore. It costs Steve's us 400 dollars for a tank. But you have Steve to fix it. I'm not so sure Steve can fix it. <laughs> I can fix it. Uh oh. And after you have a uh, a nice coffee break, the world will be a better place. What'd you find out over there? More Bondo? Well. So so Steve is finding there's some pepperoni. <laughs> Down in that bottle work. Is that pepperoni or mortadella? It's a return oh, to hammer. Oh my god. Look at this. Steve, Steve, I can tell you've never you've never done construction work before. You're too mm. delicate. Well he's getting This Ready? is worth every Ready. penny. Go ahead. You if you go get that sheetrock knife and scrape the rest by hand, it's rough enough now. And then we want to dimple that in just a little bit. Yeah. And what well, do you got? Nothing to lose. You know, you're playing with the house's a money. Bondo on my teeth. Very nice. <laughs> what we did, we just dimpled this down just a little bit. We're going to try to mix some JB Weld. Get this over here. See if this is going to work the way we hope it will. Uh, but that's yet to be proven.
Yeah, okay, so what I did, I made a plug for this. I took a, uh, a roofing nail, which is galvanized, and cut it and wire brushed it all down. I want to have that as part of the repair. <laughs> this is an official Ducati. Official Ducati. It's $42. It's, it goes in the hole. Is it too big? It's a tight fit, Imbo. Oh, that's okay, good. that's perfect. So now get take that out. Take it out. Take yeah. it out. Put JB weld underneath it. It's already hard. No, it's not. You guys, uh, you guys don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, Come on. Fun with you. Put it down. I'm a lot of fun to be with. It's true. Yeah. Now keep it going. Keep it going. Some drips in the tank. Yeah, Nothing bad's yeah. gonna happen. But get some under the rivet. Make sure it oozes out. Okay. Now I gotta find the Now hole. put the rivet back in. Now I gotta find it. Ooh. Okay, don't get my Jesus. I'm sorry. My good purple towel. <laughs> okay, tap it in with the screwdriver. That's not where the hole was, but you made a new hole, I think. Jesus, I hope not. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How could this happen? Now you've, you got me freaked out. Okay. Take it out. Find where the hole is. Oh my god. This has been a problem. Are you for sure me we did years. we've done this before? How did I have children? Oh my God! All right, we've never oh cut. God. The Where's camera. Turbo Steve when we need him? Huh? I have a 20-ton press at home. <laughs> Get that. In there. That tank on eBay is looking better and better. Oh my God! You, you really can't get it out? I got it. It's okay. That's nice. That's good. All right. Oh my God! You want the JB weld underneath, around? Yeah. Uh, you guys have never built a model plane. On I can see fingers, that. On your okay. Sweatshirt. Now let's do it the right way. There you go. Bingo bongo. This is how they do heart surgery in Kenya, you know. Come on, just get it on there. Don't rush with the JB Wells. It's going to be good for 45 minutes. How are we doing layers? Is that one big? Maybe. No, no, you don't do JB. Do it in a big glop. You put the rivet in there already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> After all. <laughs> what okay. rivet? Now, let it, you know, get it out right to where the red stuff is. And then we'll get a little trowel and trowel it out and make it as Look close to being uh, acceptable Look as possible. And never, ever, ever use five-minute JB Weld. Always use the stuff that takes time to dry. You got a future at Carlos. Get the icing nice There you the go. Snow, uh... And don't worry, you can, this will sand right off just like Bondo that you just buy a pack of extra sandpaper when you're done. Make it nice and smooth. Come on, you're, you're good at this. Used to be good at it. There you go. I don't want to go too far down. It looks like it's pulling it. A couple years okay, ago, that's ready to dry on our uh, straight into the, our parts uh, bin here. Uh, we move on. Well, my guess is first thing, wipe it all down. You know, Windex or something. Clean it up because you. I'm sure you waxed it. <laughs> we just put the Windex. <laughs> yeah, look at where the Windex is. <laughs> He's got a Windex that jack up the... It it's looks like Windex. the hood of a funny car. Holy... It's not Windex, it's a prop. <laughs> oh, my God. Right there. So you want to make... What you're trying to do is make this stripe go out in... Just yeah, as similar... We're going to continue this stripe. Okay. Yeah, okay, and so that's... up here, this is going to come off, but whatever we do here to cover that is what we could do here. Okay, so make that dark, the top part of the tank... The, the dark blue. I think we still have some of that dark blue. It's not a bad idea with the white. Well, however you want. It's your bike. Okay. If it was Steve's bike, I'd figure it out. But it's your bike. Right, so we're trying to lay out some tape stripes on this that are going to match up to the back of the tank, the side of the tank. And Steve is polishing bolts in there. We finally convinced him he should be polishing everything on his bike. Yeah, I, well, Glenn will know where it goes, and we'll have to adjust it that looks stripe. Like it has to go a little lower. Lower, okay. I mean, it, it, I'm going by. Where does the bolt know. line up? Is there something we can put a bolt in there? You got to move this out of the way. Like this. Like the yeah, you got to be able to line that stripe up with some bolt. What about the bolt at the bottom of the fairing, Glenn? Yeah, no, that's what we're doing. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, if that stripe doesn't line up, this is not going to look good at all. And then this is white. Okay, so Steve has oh, one idea slip. for the trim. Glenn has another idea. I have another idea. <laughs> you know what they say about ideas? But you know what? It's his bike. So 
Guess who gets the final vote? The Papa. Oh my Here's God. Like oh going. my God. I thought I left that. So the fairing's going back with Glenn for some prep work. We're gonna. We know what we're gonna do. He's gonna prep it up for the next A team session. <laughs> Steve, Steve is going back to uh, see if the tanky has has any holes in it. <laughs> hey, we learned a lot today. Today was a good day. All right, you guys. I'll see you later, alligator. So it was an A-team day today, and we learned a lot and figured out a lot. And boom, one more cookie left. These guys leave me one cookie. Unbelievable. But anyway, I will, during the week, in between working on my project, I'll try to straighten out this. We'll see if that's going to work. I don't know. The alternative is it doesn't work. He's going to have to buy a tank. And so, uh, well, that's, that's what restoring old motorcycles is like. Believe it or not, it was just like the old days with the A-Team, helping each other, trying to learn things, trying to figure things out, and of course, trying to share what we learn on YouTube. So this is a significant thing. I'm glad we got to share it, and I will work on that during the week, and I'm sure if you enjoyed the video, hey, we're glad to share it with you because we learn something every day we're in the shop. And this bike, we're going we're gonna to work on that fairing. We had a, uh, a meeting of the minds of what the next step is. But the next time we have an 18 day, we'll do part of this work and part of that fairing. We should be done in two more, two more 18 days. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And on the end of this, I'll plug in some of the things. Glenn had given some great painting demos and showed off when he bought his new Ducati. He was showing it off. It's some great old video you'll enjoy. If you're part of the A-team or you haven't seen uh, any of these old videos. They're five years, four or five years old. Anyway, thanks for watching. So today, Glenn is going to share a very interesting story about this bike, and then we're going to go for a test ride, and the ride is going to be probably up by the onion fields, but now, let's let's make sure everybody knows this is a Ducati ST2. Yep. Okay. What does that designate? That's a... Uh, 944. Two, okay. Uh, Two-cylinder. Okay. Right. Dry clutch. Yeah. Gold wheels. <laughs> Boy, those wheels look good. They sure do. They're a thousand. I don't know what's He nice paid a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks a piece for these wheels. <laughs> Made out of real gold. Real gold. Anyway, we're going to take this up today. Yeah. We're going to try to uh, get Glenn to demonstrate some of his high end riding tech. I hope, mm -hmm. I hope not. We're not going to demonstrate how to put it into a ditch. <laughs> it's either Keith Code or Keith Coma. Keith Hansen here is going to put it in a ditch. Okay, so Glenn is here. He's got some of his Ducati port turbo. Steve is here. Luciano was here. He's going to demonstrate a very simple thing. He took a sanding block and some 2500 grit sandpaper wet to get this scratch out. And now there's this magic product, which we never demoed before. What's the name of it? Adams? Well, it's got a couple of, yeah, it's all okay. Adams products. And Adams I, products, okay. I've used it successfully before. I wanted to show it to you. I know you're a fan of this one. You bet, yep. So I wanted to show you, this is a three stage. Sometimes you don't have to use, th this is obviously a, it, from one to three, it's a much more aggressive. Right, right. Right, so you'll start at one, right. go to two, finish it off with three, and in between, you use just some of the, it, this is a mislabeled bottle, I wouldn't go by that, so. Okay. All right, so. And you got the three, you mark the pad, which product each is pad, on it. Right, each pad is for a specific product. I won't okay. mix any of them together. Obviously, you wouldn't want an aggressive right. grit right. inside of a polishing right. compound. All right, so you got your industrial uh, your Home Porta, Depot, or what is this? Porta cable. Okay, oh, you got a real one. He's gotta, got so much money, we gotta hang out with him. Yeah, we got a ton. Okay. So I just activate the pad so it's okay. not completely dry, which is some of that right. product. Otherwise it scratches right. the hell out of it. Right. We have all these secret jars and numbers. Most of these and, are kind of clogged up, so I'll just hit it in a couple of different spots okay. with some of the product. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, there's a million kind of polishes and compounds and This is just whatever. what seems to work and, for me. And there are some that are real expensive and don't work any better than the cheap ones, and cheap ones that don't work any good at all. And then there's the one that always works, good old-fashioned toothpaste. <laughs> so I'll put it at a medium setting. 
Okay. It's an orbital, right? So I mean, if you hold it, it's right. We know it's not right. Let Steve hold it so you don't. It doesn't walk off the table. Okay. Let's see if we can get the. Since we're doing professional demos here. So I'm going to kind of wrap right. some of the product in so it doesn't fly all over the place. Okay. Good. Oh, uh, you look just like the guy on Bitchin' Rides. That guy with the ponytail and no teeth. Nice. <laughs> what character? Man, he's got Porter Cable. You know, you can't even buy Porter Cable in Harbor Freight. It's so expensive. <laughs> so this is going to allow you to have your Ducati that you change your body work and it's a red bike. You can do what I do with the GS. You can have two bikes for the price of one. Right. So again, I'm going to concentrate on that area that we right. sanded. Right, and then just feather it on out. Right. So what is this what is this compound doing now? Right now it's cutting. So it's it's really what happened was when we took the sandpaper we created a bunch of valleys, mm -hmm. but they're jagged. So what you want to do is when you take that cutting compound that kind of levels everything off, yeah. but you're going to still see some of those. It's like the 4CR product that just use it. It gets out the, the uh, sanding scratches. Okay. Right. The roughest one is usually to get out the sanding scratches. Let's just see. It's not going to be as shiny as, obviously, the finer the grit. Right. Let's see if where we sand it is kind of walking itself away. Well, it really doesn't. Ah, a little bit, a little bit. That bad. I mean, I'm going to still a little bit I'm gonna concentrate on this area. Yeah, well, you know when you got a Ducati, everything's got to be just I poco know. rabundo, you know? It's got to be. So I'm going to concentrate on the two areas That's, that That scratch would slow you down eight miles an hour coming down 106. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to activate the pad again. Okay. And there's a lot of product on here right now, so I'm just Yeah. Gonna... Now one of the tip-offs when you when you're sanding, this stuff is still wet. You got too much too much material on it. Most people that make a mistake they use way a thousand times too much compound. Which I probably did. Yeah, that's. And if you're in doubt, just spit on it and wet it. So we're okay because we're kind of dealing with flat surfaces. Yeah. So if we were dealing with maybe right here. We know yep. that the paint is thinner. You don't want to get near an edge. You do that by hand. Right. So on those edges, we know that the paint is thinner. Right. And if we're in a valley over here, we know that the paint is thicker. So right. we can concentrate a little bit more right. on that. But because we're dealing with flat surfaces like this, we should be pretty good. Yeah, you picked the easy demo here. What about my demo? <laughs> let's see, tough let's see him buff out this wheel. Now look, this is a cast wheel. Let's see him buff out that wheel. That ain't happening, baby. Anyway, to, just to make a, a, a thing that, that happened today, we had problems with the decals. For, so we're gonna have to take these decals off. Luciano has two gas tanks for the H1. And since the, uh, well, it, what's going to happen? We're going to wind up, the decals didn't didn't play out well on there. We'll go into that on a separate video. But uh, he's going to want to paint them this color anyway, so maybe we'll just paint them both the same color. I don't know. Do you have a microfiber, when? Sure, the... right, up, right up there, right here. <laughs> That's my wife, not a microfiber. Hey, Cash, he's spying on us. No, we have no go-go girls down here. We kicked them all out before you got home. As soon as you call, Ken. We'll be ready for coffee in about 10 minutes. I was wondering, I baked you guys blue. I know. Well, we had, a, we had a meltdown with Luciano's tank, so uh, okay. don't worry about it. All right. So, I mean, what you're looking at right now is it's going to dull it up, and somebody would use that, and they would freak out because, yes. well, I'm somebody seeing something over here. I don't know what it is. You see that? What is that? It's a sanding mark. So oh, okay. I'm going to have to concentrate again with the wheel. So good eye, Steve. So I'm going to concentrate with the. I'll be again. 15 minutes, Gar. <laughs>